All right, real quick, we got just a quick one. We've seen this style of question before, and uh, we'll just run through it. Okay, we'll test that ability to solve equations again. So statement, work out the theory of TM modes for a rectangular waveguide. In particular, find the longitudinal electric field, the cutoff frequencies, and the wave and group velocities. Okay, find the ratio of the lowest TM cutoff frequency to the lowest TE cutoff frequency for a given waveguide. Caution, what is the lowest TM mode? Okay, let's run it back. So the solution is for a TM wave, BZ equals zero. So our goal is to solve the coupled equation that we had way long time ago. Uh, partial squared plus partial squared of X squared, Y squared, plus omega over C squared minus K squared times EZ equals zero. Let's use separation of variables by letting EZ uh, as a function of X and Y equal X and Y respectively, subject to the parallel components equal zero. That's our boundary condition. All right, run it through. We've seen separation of variables before. Not the first rodeo we've had. Um, with that, let's uh, go ahead and divide through, cancel everything, although the lines look remarkably close to the slants and the letters. All right, anyways, we see that everything cancels, and uh, zero is on the right-hand side, and we're good to go. What this says is, now let's separate this with the separation constant, so we'll go ahead and let each constant be negative kx squared, negative ky squared, and then the sum of the negative kx, negative ky, plus omega over c squared minus k squared equals zero. Those are our conditions for separation of variables. It has a general solution x equals a sine kx x plus b cosine kx x. Again, we've seen this before. And then the boundary conditions require that ez equals zero, and hence x equals zero when x equals zero, and at, x, at little x equals 0 and x equals a. Okay, so parallel, if we're in the z direction, parallel at the plane x, uh, z, x equals 0, x equals a. Same thing with y equals a, y equals 0, or y equals 0, y equals a. Same thing here, same thing running. So we plug them all in, we see that b goes to 0, and the only way that a goes to 0 is if kx, uh, kx a is equal to some uh, integer uh, multiple of pi, uh, push that through, and this time m equals 1, 2, 3, but not 0, um, since m equals 0 would kill x entirely, we cannot have that, um, and so the same goes for y, and thus the solution has the form of e z equal e naught sine m pi x over a sine n pi a n pi y over b, with n and m equal 1, 2, 3, and so on. Similarly, uh, the rest is the same as for the T waves, where the cutoff frequency is given as such, the square root C pi wave is given at 1 over that, the ratio. Group velocity, same thing here, nothing really crazy. The lowest TM mode is equal to uh, 1, 1, so the ratio of the lowest TM mode and the lowest TE mode Remember, was uh, the lowest was one zero. Um, again, we can't kill off everything. We had a cosine in the TE mode, so that one of them was equal to zero. No big deal. Here, we can't have that. And so the ratio was the plug the one ends for M and N for the TM, and we saw that one uh, for the A and zero for the M on the TE mode gave us C pi over A. The C pi cancel in both. And we can push the a in, so we get a squared. Uh, again, divide by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal. We do that. And so we push it inside the square root, so that gives us a squared. And so uh, pushing that through, we get, you know, that fraction, 1 over a squared, so that goes to 1. And then we get, um, you know, just push that inside the other square, so we just get the square root of 1 plus a over b squared. Pretty cool uh, result, uh, but quick question. If you read the book, this should be a quick summary.